What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and today we are going to go ahead and go over to Dash's house. Um, my headlights came in yesterday, so I want to take those over there. Also, I have some um, some more wood that I want to take to him so that he can. Dang, my car is super dusty, man. Um, I just wash it; and it's super dusty. I was uh, cutting wood up in here and stuff like that, and the sun is like shining on the car, but. Anyway, side note. Anyways, uh, I got some wood that I want to take to him uh, so that he can kind of get started. I think he's going to uh, start working on the trunk. Uh, he's just going to cut the template out from his trunk and apply it to mine. So what I want to do is I want to go over there, install these headlights, and install the uh, sound deadening so that he's not held up in any type of way um, so that we could cut the template out. We could just wrap it, put it in there, and it's set, ready to go. We don't have to take it back out to do the sound deadening because um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to go over there for the next probably week till like probably like next Thursday or something like that. So um, with that said, if I can knock that knock out the sound deadening and get that all completed and done by the time he gets done with the template for the trunk, we could just wrap it. I could go do the audio system, the stereo, and all that kind of stuff. Get all that wired up and together, and the trunk will be done and complete. Also, he sent me some pictures uh, and some video of the floor. Um, as you guys know, the floor had a hole in it um, <clears throat> because of rust. He cut all the rust out and he welded in the patch panel for the floor. That was a part of a lot of the parts that I brought to him uh, the other day. Uh, one of those parts was the floor pan. I ordered the floor pan for the driver's side and he already cut it out, welded it in and it's all good to go. He probably just has to grind some wells down or something like that. And then um, I think I'm gonna order another box of sound deadening. And that's kind of why I wanna go over there and see how much the trunk is gonna take up too, so that I know how much I need for the rest of the car because we're gonna sound deaden in the car too. And then after that, man, I mean, the car is theoretically ready to come home. Um, we gotta put the, the gas pedal on, tighten up the transmission, um, the cable for the the shifter going into the transmission um and then what else do we, or the speedo cable one of them is going in the transmission i guess it's the speedo cable it's going in the transmission we got to tighten that up and then i think there's something else there's one more thing i think we need to handle and then the car is ready to come home and then from that point on we'll go ahead and knock out everything else uh yeah so anyways man um Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. And yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and spin over to Dash's house and see where we go. Take your lunch. Uh, what time did I leave? I left that. Appreciate you. Like almost one. Um. All right. Uh. So I'm knocking that out the sand, sound deadening or whatever. Um, I pretty much, I'm almost halfway done. Um, I'm tired of looking at this dirty trunk or whatever. And this is, uh, has to be completed before we do the trunk kit. So that's the reason why I'm over here knocking this out. Um, like Dad said in his video, we're doing, or I'm gonna start hooking up all this audio stuff. Um, obviously I'm not gonna be able to do it today, but there's so much other things that we need to get taken care of and knocked out. Um, I already knocked out the headlights, so. And they look good. <laughs> uh, I'll probably throw up a picture because I didn't record it or nothing like that. I just threw them in there, but um, you guys can see from prior videos what they look like. They're just the chrome, uh, chrome joint with the um, running light and they got the red beam in the middle. So shout out to Warren G body because his Elko got the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was going to do the parking lights, but I couldn't get the screw out. So I just went ahead and um, threw, or I'm going to just leave them there for now. And then you can see the difference. Dash has black lights um, with the uh, the white in the middle. And then mine is chrome. And then Dash pointed out some dope. That with the chrome wheels. Now we're not going to do all chrome wheels. But it will have a chrome lip on there, so yeah. Oh yeah, you might be able to. 
This is gonna hook up the battery or whatever. The correct way this time. The correct way, you know what I mean? <laughs> For anybody that, you know, wants to talk stuff about uh, hooking up the negative and the positive, yeah, we know. It just, you know, it is what it is. And man, shout out to Dash for throwing in that floor for me. I appreciate it. He'll definitely probably have it on his video. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, wow. It's hard to see it, y'all. But the lights are on. That day ring light ain't gonna work, I don't think, cause I think that little cord, oh, you can see it flickering, I think. Oh yeah. Those look good, bro. At nighttime, that's gonna be love. Oh yeah. And then obviously the high beams, um, you know, those aren't hooked up. The day running lights not hooked up or anything like that. But um, for when the car comes home, I wanna throw those in there for presentation. And then we're gonna obviously clean all this stuff up, all that stuff up. So, you know, you know how we get down. So, and then I'm gonna have to order up a stripe kit. I haven't figured out the color, you don't think so? I think it looks good. It's all white. Oh man, but your car is all I'm white. Buying, so yeah, your know, car is all white. I don't have the stripe kit either, but yeah, your car is all white. I don't know. What it is. <laughs> Even with the spoiler, yours looks weird to me. So yeah. I don't know the stripe kit, but dang, dude, and standing here, you could with the trunks up, you could definitely tell the difference. <laughs> wow, with the like color, like this is like a cream white, and this is like uh, what you say, like a. Based off that, like you know, that uh, Summit White. Summit and, uh, White. The Camaro. Yeah, like this is like real creamy. You can tell with the trunk lids up. I couldn't really tell like a whole lot between the two, like just sitting next to each other. I mean, obviously this one's a lot brighter, but with the lid up, you could definitely tell. But um, Car name, Cream? Cream? Uh, I asked her a car name. <laughs> I was like, I was like, uh, what I say? I was like, what, what should, uh, if you had to name a car, what would the name be? <laughs> And she was like, uh, I don't know. So we started going through the names because I haven't named the truck yet. And my daughter's like, uh, Black Panther. I was like, oh, that fits perfect. And then I was like, shoot, we got, you know, and I started going through the car names that's at the house. And then she was like, I was like, shoot, uh, we got a we got a red car, a blue car, a white car. She was like, what white car? <laughs> I was like, your car. <laughs> the Honda. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean we'll see we'll see uh she'll she'll probably be the determinator on that um i did get my t-top it should be here today or tomorrow um so they made it right so the company that i got this wing from is called mike's monies they got pretty much you get the bags for free then huh or you gotta send them back uh he told me to send it to the lady and i just told him like well shoot realistically i need some bags so i just pay for them and then you could send her hers. Cause it'll be closer. Cause he's in Ohio, she's in Iowa. Okay. Her stuff should have been there like weeks ago. Yeah, like a week or two ago. And so like if it comes from here, it's gonna take longer. Yeah. So I was like, yo, bro, you just send it and whatever. We'll let bygones be bygones. But they got everything, man. So uh I'm gonna have to get all this weather stripping stuff or whatever. And I wasn't gonna do a video because I'm like crunched for time, but you know, I thought I'd cut y'all on and give y'all some content so let me go ahead and knock this trunk out and then you know call it a day all right y'all it looks totally different um i wasn't able to get to that or this because i'm running low on time but to come over here for 30 minutes and knock out what i knocked out that kind of yeah he's just trying to take some labor costs away <laughs> Yeah, but we got our little our little ribs, you know, it could be ironed out a little bit more, but like I said, I was pressed for time, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it lies. And it'll be covered anyway, but man, it looks totally different. A lot better. Let me see if I could give me a thumbnail. Uh, thumbnail gonna be you inside the trunk. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, right on. So yeah, it looks good, man. I mean, one one ten ain't gonna rattle nothing, so should be good. All right, grind schoolers, man, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I was kind of pressed for time. Um, I gotta go get my daughter from school, so um, I just wanted to run over here and um, I wanted to run over here and get the um, sound deadening into the trunk of the 
uh, Monte Carlo so that Dash can proceed to do his thing uh, with the trunk because I know you guys probably seen his video if you follow his channel um, and if you haven't go ahead and subscribe to Dash's channel from Dash's Garage because I definitely appreciate everything that he's uh, been doing for me um, come on man you gotta stop somebody broke uh, anyways uh, I definitely appreciate everything that he's been doing for me um, we got the car probably about two weeks ago uh, actually two weeks ago today and the car's already almost ready to come home you guys saw the um you guys saw the uh the floor is already welded in um dash found me a gas pedal so definitely appreciate him so do me a, a huge favor and go ahead and subscribe to his channel because he's doing a lot of a lot of work on the monte carlo and obviously he has a whole lot more content on the monte carlo than i do because it's at his house um so anyways um the car will be coming home uh soon and you know that's where we'll we'll go ahead and pick up we'll go ahead and start picking up more stuff um from there the motor will come out the car will get rewired hopefully um i can source a transmission so that we can go ahead and put the ls motor in there fairly quickly um but yeah like i said the um the monte carlo will be coming home we will be um come on man uh it will be coming home i'm sorry i'm sweating it's hot out here um but uh we will be doing our thing from that point on and then after um it comes home uh it's gonna i'm gonna surprise my wife um for christmas um so i'm gonna surprise my wife for christmas it's her car i know i've been dropping little nuggets and stuff like that um, so stay tuned for that video but anyways like i said i was just doing the sound deadening for the car um because dash uh i think he's gonna make the trunk for me uh he's just gonna use his template and then when i get the uh the material i'll go ahead and wrap it so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap wrap the 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 trunk once i get the material and it'll have some custom elements to it it's pretty much a custom trunk but anyways um i wanted to knock that out because i won't be able to go back over dash house for another about a week and i wanted to knock that out so that he's not stopped on any progress or anything like that um and so that's the reason why i wanted to do that and then i had got the headlights in yesterday and i was like man i'm tired of looking at those ugly yellow uh headlights and high beams and all that kind of stuff and so um i went ahead and threw those in real quick and then the as for the uh parking light i wanted to get the parking lights in too um but let me turn this ac on because it is hot um i wanted to do the uh parking lights too but the screw at the bottom was rusted so dash told me he'll go ahead and knock those out for me um, so definitely appreciate him as always um, We're gonna go ahead and you know, just keep knocking things out on this this Monte Carlo so that when it comes home We, uh, we don't have a lot to do. Um, well, I guess there still is gonna be a lot to do But when it comes home, I could surprise the wife and she can actually see the vision without being like, oh man Why'd you buy this? A piece of crap, you know what I'm saying? Which obviously it's not a piece of crap. I didn't buy a piece of crap but obviously um, the vision for people that aren't really into cars is a little bit different when you're dealing with these old schools because, you know, when you come from like a newer car that's already ready to go, um, it already runs and drives, there's nothing wrong with it, there's no rust, the paint is perfect, um, and then you put them in an old school, it's kind of like, uh, you know, even seeing how even seeing how what I did was able to do with my Elko and my Impala scene where they came from to where they are now um, it still is hard for somebody to visualize especially if it's their car and they're not into this kind of thing um, but since the car is like pretty much you know like I said it's, it's the best possible um, version that I could, could uh, want for you know what it is you know what i'm saying but anyways man i'm over here just rambling i'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video so i can get to the school for my daughter and then 
know what I'm saying? Before we jump out of the video, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. And always remember, work hard so you can live free.